friends how are you in the java tutorial series we are going to see the checked exception today's video is about the checked exception last video was unchecked exception so we have two type of exception one is unchecked and another is checked exception basically we can say that uh, checked exception checked exception will occur during compile time so when the compilation started this exception checked exception will occurs it it is actually io exception and we can say one or another example file not found not found exception so this is actually uh, we we are going to learn up in this video so please uh, be in this video in order to learn uh, about the checked exception so if you have not watched my unchecked exception video you can check me in the playlist the java tutorial playlist i have yeah, i have uploaded all the videos related to the java okay now in this video we are going to see uh, what is checked exception so we'll take uh, some integer let's go and start in teaser a comma b comma c we have defined three integers within the main method and uh, suppose we have uh, we are defining a is equal to 10 and we will take the uh, output input from user b input will be uh, from user okay so uh, here what we will do we will take the buffer class buffer reader pr i will make a video on the buffer reader also uh, in the last video we have discussed about the scanner class so you can also take the input from the uh, user uh, with a scanner class and a buffer reader class uh, some difference is also uh, present between both both of them so we'll see in the latter video okay so here new buffer reader now inside the buffer reader we will also create input stream reader and inside this we will write system dot in okay so we have successfully created this buffer reader class now we will, we will take here we will print something suppose we want to take some things uh, so we want uh, we want the value of b will be taken uh, from the user so we'll define b is equal to br dot read line okay so read line contains the string value so in order to convert it into the integer we we have a function integer integer dot parse parse int okay so this is the function in which when you pass the value of any of the string uh, method it will convert automatically convert it into the integer it, it will we are casting it okay type casting with integer dot parse int now we have built this option in order to take the value of the b 
now here i one thing also i want to discuss here c is equal to a divided by b this is the critical statement okay so here uh, when you click on the b it is saying that initialize b so we'll, if we have not taken the value of the b here just like a it will show and uh, that please initialize the value of the b in order to proceed forward further okay so we have created this buffer reader class in order to take the input from the user now here we have uh, we have taken the b and we have the function br dot read line now here it is showing some error and when you click on the uh, here keep your mouse here it is saying that unhandled un handled exception type io ex exception so input output exception is saying see when you uh, when you see the example of the unchecked exception it will never shows uh, any error during uh, during the compilation time so when we are writing this code and uh, the compilation is going on it is re uh, it is showing here that it may occurs the io exception so java providing you that this is the compilation it is necessary to handle you so in order to handle what we will we will surround it with the try catch block so here we have created two catch block it is actually generated two type of if this is compulsory if you remove this number format type then it can be okay so we will uh, keep this two catch we can we can keep two multiple catch within it okay so let's go and start actually here what you will have to do you just print uh, print here that I exception okay. or number format or anything so you can print here also the same value here you write this error number okay so we have got this uh, output here now when you run this this is the um, when we uh, put this function inside the try catch block during the compilation time the error has been removed and it is it is basically called the checked exception exception okay so this is the exception when you uh, suppose that you just cut this and put this it in outside the try catch block then it uh, it is and when the compile compiler says that no you must have to handle it before run so when so this is what uh, i want to show you in the this is the one example so here arithmetic x uh, showing because the b is zero and if we write here b is zero and a is divided by b is zero. so let's this is the critical statement just cut this and put this it here now when you run this application it will says enter your uh, value sorry cut this and put this it here save this and now run the uh, application so it is showing that uh, enter some number so when we put this number then we will sorry we have not created the output when you create the output then it is showing put so put this C here and it is saying that initialize C so you must have to initialize the C also 
so just for run the application and when you give this 2 then output will be 5 so 10 divided by 2 is output to 5 okay when you run this enter some string here so error number it is showing that you the number format exception is coming here so this is this is one method uh, where you can handle a checked or unchecked uh, check, checked exception so we have learned uh, in this um, in this video tutorial about the checked exception so in this way you can handle the checked exception now if one another example we are going to uh, take in this so let's take some another example so in another example we will write here new here file so we have a class this file input a stream so we'll take file input stream fr is equal to new we are going to check about some some file is available or not it is showing uh, the error or not so we'll see this example also this is also the example of checked ex exception okay so file input stream and here you need to give the location of some file present in your um, system or in your folder so i what i will do here i have some text ip dot text so this is the location actually i am using the macbook you can give the location if you are uh, using uh, google so you just give the location of your uh, file here also so let's go and check so here ip dot text okay so when we have to see the file is available or not this is also the uh, exception class when when i put here it is saying that this can be unhandled exception and file not found so java is pressing that without without handling this exception you cannot go forward okay so you must have to handle this because this is the compile time error so let's go and create the try catch block so we have created this try catch block okay print something sorry so here is the file is not available please check so we are printing if the file is not valid here it will throw an error that a file is not available okay if the file is correct then it will print congratulations file is available so here two messages will come if the file is correct then it will shows the uh, this okay so let's go and check you just save this file and run the application okay so when you run this application here it is saying that congratulations file is available let's go and suppose i have this file also if this is right or not right let's go and check so what you will have to do you just save this application and run this so when you run this application it is showing file is not available please check
so the red error is coming due to this so remove this okay now uh, just go and run this application you will get the output file is not available so these are the example these two are the most example of io the input output and the file not found these two are the important checked exception you will come during your coding time so this uh, this is the this is the problem i want to share in this video so please uh, give some comment like here so that i get motivated that if you have learned something from this video so till now please uh, click a like button subscribe our channel and bell press a bell icon in order to get the future notification for for the time being thanks for watching